It's the first week of August in Connecticut, and that means that the elderberries are ready to turn into syrup. You can see some of these. They're starting to turn purple, and these are gonna make a delicious syrup. I like to sweeten it with our balsamic, so follow me back to the shop kitchen, and I'll show you how to make it. Hi, everybody. Back to Delavine's Gourmet. I have been out in my woods harvesting up some of the most beautiful thing that happens this time of year, some wild elderberries. I put a little picture up earlier. So this is my husband, Dave. He's also into wild foraging. Um, normally his specialty is mushrooms, but he's gonna help me with these elderberries. We're gonna turn these into a syrup. I like to use the syrup to make beverages. Um, I like to use it with over ice and a little bit of seltzer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these. I've got two cups of water in my soup pot. I'm letting that come to a boil. I'm gonna add all of these berries to it. And then after they've cooked for about 20 minutes, that's gonna help off gas any of the things that might give you a little stomach upset from wild elder uh, berries. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these simmered for about 20 minutes, and then I'll show you my next secret step with my sweeteners that I use for this specific recipe. So this has been going for about 15 minutes. We're getting close to being ready to start our straining process and adding our sweetener. Um, so right before I get ready to strain, that's when I like to mix in either a balsamic vinegar or some honey if you don't like the flavor of the balsamic. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of both in this recipe. So I had two cups of water, three cups of elderberries, and we're going to put two tablespoons of honey into this. And that's a really good local honey from my friends over in Bethlehem. And then we're gonna do three tablespoons of Delavine's balsamic condimente vinegar. All right, and I'm gonna shut the heat off to this. And then what we've gotta do is strain this next because we wanna remove the skins and the seeds and any little particles we may have missed in the picking of the berries. So I've got my bowl set up here and I've got a nice fine mesh strainer. Um, so this is just gonna help catch all those little particles. And we're gonna go just a little bit at a time and then I like to press the berries as well. You may need an extra hand here just so you don't lose your strainer. I just wanna make sure you get all that goodness out. And then you can discard this pressing once it's all done. Okay, now that we've got the liquid all strained, you can see how thick and dark purple it is. I'm gonna add one other little ingredient. I like a little taste of vanilla. Down here at my shop in Waterbury at Shop De La Beans, you can get some of this vanilla as well. I'm gonna add just a little dash of that. Now, because this syrup I'm gonna use in beverages, I am gonna store it in the fridge, but if you really wanted to um, can it, you could as well. You just gotta go through another heat process. So now it's time to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Uh, I've got some fresh mint that I just plucked from the garden and here is our finished syrup. So my favorite thing to do is to make a beverage with this. Um, so I'm gonna just put my fresh mint down in the glass like that. And then about two teaspoons of the syrup. And then you're just gonna finish it with a little bit of seltzer. Um, this is excellent uh, as a mocktail, or you can put a little bit of spirits in here if that's what you like. But look at that color. Isn't that just a pretty, pretty beverage? So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.